Thank you, folks. You see the thumbnail. I made 10,000 in liquidity pools in one week. Yes, if you've been following me on liquidity pools, folks, concentrated liquidity pools, you know that I've been out here learning it, getting it, took a course, had uh, uh, Eric Majors on my channel, uh, who is a trader for 2020 fund, a project I've been in about six months. And then I bought his course because I wanted to have the knowledge and information and understand how he does what he does. And I learned it. And it's probably one of the smartest decisions that I have personally ever made. Now, folks, you on the call, just listen to me go through like seven or eight sponsored projects where they gave me a gift to do the video. And one thing about all of those projects, you got to send your money to somebody else, right? You got to trust that if you send that crypto, you have an opportunity to get that crypto back, right? And it doesn't always happen in this space. And, you know, we often take losses and everybody's not a trader. You know, everybody's not buying and holding and all of that different stuff. But I'm going to tell you with these concentrated liquidity pools, I'm really getting it. Now, I'll talk about it a little more in depth. I'm not going to spend forever and a day on it, but I do want to get into it. Now, folks, it's been about 20 or 30 minutes since you heard this introduction, Money, Ministry, and Motivation, Passive Income, 7,600 subscribers. But more importantly, this is how you get in contact with me right here. Everything's here. And most importantly, I got live Zooms every Tuesday and Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Here's the link or get it from one of my social media channels. Over 7,600 subscribers, 1,201 videos, and then 562 thousand views thank you every viewer thank you every subscriber like share comment and subscribe now folks concentrated liquidity pools now i've done longer videos on exactly what this is but let's start with um what is it right and i'm gonna open up the docs for you on orca decentralized exchange now what is orca Orca is the easiest place to trade cryptocurrency on the Solano blockchain. That's what Orca is. Now, it's decentralized. It's not like Coinbase. It's not like Kraken. It's not like KuCoin, not like Binance, because you hold the keys to your own wallet. So it's like your MetaMask, or excuse me, Orca is not like your MetaMask, but Orca is more like a, uh, a, a, a sushi swap. Uh, it's a place where you know, traders are trading or swapping crypto. Now, what I mean by trading and swapping, you know how you swap from Ethereum back over to Bitcoin or Bitcoin to USDT TRC20? Well, that's what happens on Orca, but everything's on the Solana blockchain, the Solano network. Now, Orca does have a governance token called the Orca token, right? It's been out for over three years already, or about three years. Now, you can connect to Orca because it's Web3. And so you will need some type of Web3 wallet to connect. The Web3 wallets are like your MetaMask, your Trust wallets, your Exodus wallets. But for this particular uh, exchange, decentralized exchange, I like using the Soulflare wallet. Yes, you can use it on your phone. Orca has been audited by Kodalski and Neodome. There's the audits right there. Now, what are the risks of doing what I do? Well, smart contract vulnerabilities. The Solano mainnet, if somebody were to be able to break into it, you know there's hackers out there, then that's one of the risks. I'm just being up front. You know, if they got hacked, you'd be bad. But folks, this thing is huge. There's millions and millions of dollars on here. This is not your backyard party where there's a hundred thousand there. This is millions and millions of dollars on here. And then folks, also when dealing with any crypto that is not a stable token, you mean like USDT where it's always worth the dollar, you have the risk of getting in a liquidity pool and your underlying tokens go up and down in value. And then folks, what happens here, right? When you come over here and you provide liquidity to Orca, like say you decided to provide some Solano and some USDC, 
Now, when I say provide, that means you're letting them use it or they're kind of like borrowing it or you're kind of inserting it into the project, right? And then when you insert it, now, let me be more clear. It's being inserted into what is called a smart contract. And then now, folks, a smart contract is simply just some smart computer code. And it may not be that smart all the time, but it's some code that's plugged into the blockchain where everything is done automatically, right? But make it simple for you folks. If you ever loan some money out or put some money in the bank and when you get it, they give you interest, you make some profits because you gave up your capital. You let your capital work for you instead of you working for your capital. Well, that's what liquidity pools are in the most simplest of terms that I can explain it to you. But you're giving Orca decentralized exchange cryptocurrency so that when people are swapping, there's cryptocurrency there for them to swap. Now, if you've ever swapped before, you know there's fees. There's fees everywhere in crypto. But if you open up a position in a concentrated liquidity pool, when those other traders are swapping, you get to enjoy the benefits of those fees. They break them up over the people in the pool. And so folks, what did I ask you here? How do you earn fees on liquidity? When you provide liquidity in a pool, you earn a maker fee from each trade executed against your liquidity. Some pools also attract rewards. All earned yields are harvestable at any time. What does that mean? You can take your money out at any time. And then, folks, you can harvest, which means take your profits at any single time. Now, folks, there is way more to it. Here's a whole white paper over here. I think you should come and read it, right? But in the same token, let me show you just a little bit more. I'm connecting my wallet right now. And then when you get your wallet connected, you'll be able to connect to the Orca uh, decentralized exchange. You can see that they got $242 million locked in there. 242. And then you can see $898 million in volume over the last 24 hours. So once again, I'm not talking about something little. Orc is the biggest exchange that uses Solano. Now, folks, if you don't know about Solano, the Solano network, the fees are cheap. So when you do swap, you have the ability to swap for a cheap fee. And so people come running to come trade and swap here, and then you're the beneficiary of the swaps. Now, folks, you can pick from a number of different liquidity pools, but before you decide to get into anything, you need to have taken a course, done your own research, understand exactly what is going on. Okay, so right now, folks, you see I got 23,000 in this thing, and that's only because I done pulled out some stuff today, but folks, more importantly, you can see that I got $1,800 sitting here. Guess what? I made that since I've been up. Now, there was more money in here at the time that helped me make the 1800 but the majority of that 1800 is not from this 300 right here. That's 300 And I can harvest this. Like, if I harvest this, it's in my wallet directly, right? Um, this is one of my positions that slightly went out of position at 176 because Solano is pumping right now. And then so I can either let this position sit here or just go ahead and withdraw everything out. But I'm gonna let it sit there just for the time being and I'll make a decision tonight. Now, folks, I got in this high risk. This is super high risk, right? This is paying. This is a new meme coin versus Solano. And I deposited some paying, some Solano into this concentrated pool. But you see it's averaging 649% in 30 days. Now it's very high risk because this token paying has been fluctuating all day. And, you know, you can win a lot or lose a lot, right? But I started with 9,600. I've already pulled out 900 off of this top. And I got $1,400 sitting here that I can harvest at any given point in time. 
And then, folks, I got another little contract up here. This only been up for a few hours, but you see, this is over thousand percent in thirty days. So I might be averaging like, like I don't know, shoot, I don't know. But you see, this is forty two dollars. So that's three percent, and that's just been in a few hours, folks. But it's crazy. Now, I would not suggest jumping in some of this stuff I got in. It's so super high risk. You could lose some or all of your crypto very, very easily, right? Now, besides this 23, I got some money over here in my wallet, right? Now, this is money I've been using in and out of pools. So I got 23 here and 32,000. And then, so between this 23 and this 32, I've had money all up and down in these pools, man, honestly. And then so like this paying token, I hope you guys can see it's at 124%. I got $9,200 in that, right? But I bought when it was down at 75% uh, uh, plus and 100% plus. And I got it in contracts. And this is the one I was trying to sell before I got off the call because it was up 150%. And I want to liquidate that. But Solano's pumping, right? Soul Chat's pumping. And then, like these extra tokens I got sitting in my wallet over here, um, these are just tokens I want to have for like the bull run just in case something crazy happens and then I can get some crazy, crazy gains, right? And then so like paying 124% a day, I bought in when it was like uh, about a dollar twenty, a dollar thirty. You see it's going up. Let me see here. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a sliding time gauge. Don't worry about that. But it's just really a matter of the dollars. What is that actual dollar amount worth? It's worth a dollar seventy right now. Um, I I can sell at a dollar seventy, so percentage doesn't matter. All right, and so this is super dope, right? And then like say, like this is out of range right here, and I don't know if it's going back in range. And usually I would wait, but it's almost like nine o'clock. I would be withdrawing, but I literally put my money in the contract long enough to make $300 since earlier today. And then I go ahead and click withdraw. I might have to turn up my slippage just a little bit so that it gets out of here faster. And this might be Greek to some of y'all and that's okay. But like I said, you need to take a class and I'm doing free videos. I'm giving you game. If you really take a look and take a little course or figure out a few things, you'll be able to see that this is the easiest money ever. I'm literally making one, two, and 3% per day, but it's in liquidity pools. I made $10,000 last week, which is phenomenal off of basically a $40,000 investment. And so folks, you see that money was withdrawn. It's already in my wallet. I got $45,000 sitting in my wallet. A lot of this is in USDC. So I locked in some profits. Um, this is not going to change or fluctuate. Um, I'm going to wait for this paying to come up to 150, uh, I mean, to probably about 180, 190 before I sell on that. And then, folks, I just got these last couple little uh, stakes right here, you know, playing really with my week's profit until I go back and get back in. Now, folks, I'm going to go ahead and harvest this pending yield, too, right now, folks, because besides doing that, I got $1,500 sitting here. And I want that. And then, so this is just how quickly you come in and you take your profits for today. So this 1500 right here, which is some paying USDC and Solano, right? This is coming right here to my wallet right now. And sometimes it takes a little while to, to get there. Um, that it may be my one little gripe with the system is it takes a little while to get some things done. Um, but this has been in range all day, literally, for me to make $1,500 and pull out another six or $700 altogether. Um, so I've been lightweight crushing it today. Um, you know, I think I was like at 41 or 42, but I made like three or $4,000 today, folks, like without sending my money to anybody. I literally took a course that took me um, four hours to take and learn and once i took that course i was able to get set up and put a thousand dollars in here and then i just started adding more money and it's just been getting better and better and better now folks it does take a little second sometimes for that to come out but i'm not going to hold you on this 
I actually want to stop the share here and we'll open up for some questions on liquidity pools. Um, yeah, let's open up for questions. Any questions on liquidity pools? Go ahead and raise your hand or drop them in the chat. Any questions? Concentrated liquidity pools. And folks, like you get started with 100 bucks. <laughs> like you can make one, two, three percent a day yourself with $100. You don't have to come in boated. Um, I just stopped boating up those smaller projects, man, and started boating up this because it's the only thing that makes sense. All right. Thank you for listening. May the most high Yahuwah bless you and peace.